Hello. In our previous video, we discussed some of the time intelligence functions like month to date, quarter to date, and year to date calculation. Today, let's talk about date comparison. This feature will allow you to compare data across various time periods. Before we start developing this function in Power BI, let's quickly have a look into the definition and then try to implement it. Here we have the definition and the syntax. And today I'll be using these two functions. One is our date add function and same period last year function. And with the help of these two function, I'll be comparing the data across two time periods. So date add returns a table that contains a column of dates shifted either forward or backward in time by the specified number of intervals from the dates in the current context. And if I scroll down a bit here, we have the syntax and it takes three parameter dates, a column of a column that contain dates, number of intervals and the interval. So when I say interval, it's uh, whether it's the interval is year, quarter, a month or a day. So now let's quickly go to the other definition, the other function, same period last year. Returns a table that contains a column of dates shifted one year back in time from the dates in the specified date column in the current context, okay? And this is the syntax. It takes one argument, a column containing dates. So now let's quickly head to PBI and I'll show you an example on how we can do date comparison like uh, month to month, quarter to quarter, uh, current quarter to uh, quarter uh, uh, in the same period last year, etc. Here is the PBI file and a simple data set. I'm going to use the same data set which I used in my previous video. We have the date starting from 1 15 2018 until 12 15 2019. And in the second column, that's revenue we have the revenue across these time periods. So it's a very simple data. With the help of this data, let's try to calculate the following things, okay? So the first one is months comparison, okay? Previous year versus current year, okay? So let's say if you have Jan in 2019, let's find out, let's compare the Jan in 2018, okay? The revenue in 2018 Jan. So that's one of the objective and quarter comparison. So if you have a quarter, let's say Q1 19, we'll be comparing it with Q1 18, okay? Current year versus previous year. And the third one is quarter comparison, but now it's previous quarter versus current quarter. Let's say we are in Q4 19, so we will be comparing with Q3 19, okay? Side by side. Okay, so now let me go back to the data here. So one of the good practices is uh, to have a separate uh, calendar table, something, uh, and then link it with our fact table so that uh, if, we have, if you want to use some of the function, right? So if you notice here, uh, the date is, uh, we don't have all the periods, time periods, right? We have in the month of Jan, we have only 15th. Similarly, in Feb, we have 15. So it's it's not a complete data. So yeah, it's better to have a calendar mapping with a complete uh, date range so that the sum of the functions, uh, the time intelligence function works efficiently, okay? So to do that, let me create a new table here, okay? And call this table as dim calendar, okay? Let me create a table. Oh, sorry, new table here. Dim calendar equal to, so calendar. So we can create a uh, table using the function calendar. So it asks for a start date and end date. So what I'll do is I'll, insert or date function. So I want to start from, let's say, my data is from 2018 Jan till 2019 December. So what I'll do is 2018 from the month one, day one, okay. And end date. So again, I'll use date function. I want this to end 2020. Okay, I want this maybe till uh, December 31st. Okay, 
close the parenthesis and hit enter. So this will create a new table. Okay. So now for, if I look at my other table here, let's see the what format it is. It's date, date and MMDDYY, right? So I, if I go more back to my, the new table here, let me also change this to date. And I'll use the same format. I'll keep the same format. MMDDYY, okay. So I created a, a separate uh, dim calendar table. So now if you notice here, uh, it doesn't miss any dates in the middle, right? We have until, if I scroll down, we have until 1231, 2020, okay. So now if I go to the relationship, let's create a relationship between these two tables, uh, date and date. Okay, let me see. I know the fact uh, has many to one. So let me change this to many to one. Okay. So sometimes uh, applying cross filter direction, both will slow down the performance. But uh, in this example, my data set is very small. So I'll, I'll, I'll keep this as both and apply security filter in both direction. Okay. So now if I go back to my report here, so I, I created uh, three metrics here, one, two, three for each of the functions. So now first thing what let's try to do is month comparison, right? So what I'll do is uh, let me bring this, click on this visual. Maybe I'll create a hierarchy uh, slicer here. Maybe I need the year, let's say I want to select year. Okay, uh, let's keep 2019 as it is. And here, let me create a month. Let me bring in the month. So we have it in this here, month. Okay, let's keep the year as well. So let's keep this one as well. Okay. Okay, so 2019 Jan. So now first let's try to create a current year, a measure for the current year, okay? So let's calculate what we have for the month to date. So what I'm gonna do is click, select, right click on this and create a new measure and call this as month of current year. Month, current year, okay? I'm gonna use calculate function here, calculate. So I just created total revenue, which is just sum of total revenue. So I'll call this measure. And then when it comes to filter context, I'm gonna use a month to date function. So we already discussed this in our previous video. So I'm gonna use dates MTD. And then for the argument or a column reference, I'm gonna use the a date from the dim calendar, okay? I'm gonna use dim calendar date, okay? And close the parenthesis and hit enter. Now you should be able to see the current year that's uh, your selection is 2019. So it, you should be able to see the 2019 revenue. So let me bring this to the values here. You see that you, you are now seeing uh, the current year, this January to, uh, 2019, it's 201. If you want to double check, let's go to the table here and go to the fact table. Notice here, Jan, the total revenue is 201, okay? So that's what you see here. Now let's try to calculate the month of previous year, okay? Right click on this and I'll call this as month previous year month previous year equal to again i'm going to use calculate function total revenue and filter i'm going to use uh, a different function that's the uh, same period last year 
So I'm going to use the same period last year. And again, I'm going to use the date from my calendar table, dim calendar year date. Close the parenthesis, hit enter. So now you should be able to see side by side the previous year uh, revenue. Let me bring this to the values. In January, we had 101 in 2018. That's the previous year. So to cross check, let's go to the report here. Sorry, the data. And if you look here, January 2018, 101. Okay. So that's what you are seeing here. So now when you have the data side by side, you can convert this into percentage and show the changes uh, compared to the same period last year, right? So you can just subtract a uh, month current year with, from your month previous year and then calculate your percentage and then do a side by side comparison on what is the change. So now let's try to do the quarter comparison. So it's similar to the uh, month comparison. So I'll create a new measure and call this as uh, quarter current year. Let me call this as quarter current year. quarter current year equal to I'm going to use calculate function the total revenue and when it comes to filter oops, I'm going to use dates QTD this is the same function which we used in our previous video and the date from dim calendar date okay And now let me bring this to this matrix here. Quarter, current year. And then I'm going to bring the quarter. And maybe I'll bring in the date as well. OK. So now if you expand this, you can see 606 that's the current year uh, quarters right so if you want to cross check if you sum it up right uh, let's say uh, quarter one that is uh, Jan right 201 202 plus 203 it's 606 right it's matching so now let's try to do the same thing uh, for the previous year right click a new measure quarter previous year equal to calculate total revenue and the filter here same period last year and use the dates from dim calendar date close the parenthesis and hit enter so now if I bring this to the values here quarter previous year so in 2018 first quarter my total revenue was 306 if you want to cross check you can just sum it up this is my month previous year so 100 200 300 plus 6 gives me 306 perfect match right so this is how we can do a quarter comparison with the current year versus the same period last year and now let's do something which we often use in our day-to-day -day work right quarter comparison previous quarter versus current quarter okay so when I say previous quarter let's say if the current quarter is uh, 2000 uh, Q4 2019 I want to compare with Q3 2019 right you yeah, uh, quarter on quarter so first I'll uh, for this example I'll use a uh, date add function okay so I'll call this uh, measure has previous quarter previous quarter equal to again I'm going to use a calculate function and then use the date add function calculate total revenue and use the date add so here it, it has uh, three arguments first one is the dates that's my date column dim calendar date number of intervals right I just want my previous 
uh, a quarter so i'll use minus one okay and interval uh, it should be quarter okay because it's we are comparing quarter quarter and if you are trying to do the same thing with the year you can still do the same thing instead of quarter use a uh, year so close the parenthesis and hit enter and now if i bring this to the card quarter previous year sorry not this one this is the one which i added previous quarter okay and let's bring the quarter here so this is my previous quarter and now let's do the same thing for the current quarter equal to calculate expression is total revenue A filter i'm going to use date add dates it's my date dim number of intervals so now i want my current date so i'll just use zero because if i put zero it'll take as the current month and interval so quarter there are other ways to do but i find this one as simple and easy so i'm going to use this one okay so current year current year so now let's bring the current quarter okay so now if you look at here let's take an example of quarter four right we have 633 right that's what you see in the current uh, quarter 633 but i want my previous quarter in the same line in this column right so that i can do a comparison and show it as a percentage how many if i want to show it as a percentage right i can do a, a side by side comparison right 624 by 633 okay so this is how you can use these time intelligence functions to do a, a comparison across uh, various data periods i personally find uh, these two very uh, uh, helpful because we use these two functions uh, in our day-to-day -day job i hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions please drop me a note in the comment section i will come up with some more videos uh, uh, on time intelligence function okay and and don't forget to share this with your friends or colleagues and thanks for watching have a great day